What's up, everybody? Today's day 231, making Songbringer, and today I'm just going to play the game. Kind of burnt out, actually. Made, I fixed about a billion deal. A billion billion bugs. That's like a trillion. No. It's more than a trillion. Anyways, there's still like a billion left to do of low priority items. But I don't think I'm going to get to any of these before this alpha release tomorrow. Uh, because it's all going to be marketing. What's up, JFK? Welcome to the stream, man. So anyway, this boy needs some rest. I can tell you. Um, today, yeah, today I'm going to play the game. Um, let's get everything set up. What's up, Z-Twitch? Yeah, tomorrow's a big day for releasing the alpha. Yeah. Still got a lot left to do. Lots of marketing left to do. What's up, Pedro? Jonah19? Yo, yo. Welcome, y'all. So, let me kill my save game. And, hey, oh, what's up, Alex Pita? What else we need to do? I guess I'll run it in debug mode. Um, we'll set it in movie mode. Should we do Italian? Let's do Italian. What's up, baby? I love you. Uh, we'll set. Should we do sixty frames a second? No, we can't do sixty during the live stream. What's up, Eklov? Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? I actually did finish everything on the high priority list. Well, some of it I had to like delegate for later. And then more things I found and all that stuff. So anyways, still stuff left to do. But I'm like I said, I'm kind of burnt out about fixing bugs right now. I need to just play the game, do some marketing, do some art. It's been too much code lately. High five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some of them I did. Some of them I did, like, uh, I don't know. I don't want to look at that anymore. Too much. Oh, too many bugs. Oh. Oh. Okay, so anyways, we're not going to be invincible for sure. Yeah, this all looks good. Let's get the game running. Ciao, Bello. <clears throat> oh, right on. Cool. Good, good. I like that. I like that a lot that you're not going to watch until you get to play it. Super cool. Sweet. Right on. So, um, yeah, I'll have to get you uh, an extra code for your friend. So, um, yeah, I'll send you an extra code for a Steam, a Steam code so, so that, yeah, they can write an article or whatever. Thanks, Pedro. Okay, uh, let's get the, the – I'm going to turn the stream into the game mode. So it's going to be black for a second. Should be good now, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So there I can see, um, I can see you guys chat and I can still play the game. What's up, chocolate beer? You having some chocolate beer today at all? So yeah, here I need, I need a world seed. First person to give me six letters that ha we haven't already played. That's what the world seed is going to be. Premi il tasto. Otone su. Alpha, oh, 
Oh, that's only five letters. You have a chocolate beer. Alpha one. Alpha one it is. Jonah one nine. Call it out. Alpha one. Yeah, right on. It's all you can do. Really? No, no, that can't be great Italian. So yeah, anybody that's like this just joined the stream and you're wondering why this is in Italian, it's because I just said it that way. But this game is in English, Italian, and German right now. It'll be in more languages too. But anyways. Okay, Alpha One. Ako Samas? What did I just say? Oh, Jota 1 9, there is no one. Oh, what am I supposed to do here? Huh? Do we, we need either a six letter word or something without numbers. Yeah, our core, cool. You're going to make a roguelike with simple ASCII graphics? Yeah. Alpha I? Alpha I. Okay. Alpha I it is. Let's see what kind of world that does. Oh, it means how's it going? Is that in um, Slovakian? Or is that something else? Ako Samas? All right, we're hoping for no whammies. Should I have done permadeath mode? Maybe I'll, maybe next time I'll play it in permadeath mode. Say solo a volte ti. Il fabro si in cavaler in cavalera. My bicicletas broken. Ah, right on Slovak. Cool. Oh, so it's not Slovakian. It's, Slo it's Slovak. Tevu <laughs> kushe. I think I know what that means. Kushe avec moi ce soir. Wait. Uh, no way, no. That's not good Italian. Can't be good Italian. Oh, so how do I say that? Socie? Is that close? All right, let's do this. World Alpha, Alpha. Oh, check it out! It's got a store right here. This screen. These guys are kind of tough. I gotta admit, they're not exactly entry level enemies. Close enough. <laughs> All right. It's as close as you're gonna get. Oh, I can't afford the map. Not even close. Hey, thanks, Punk Kamanol. If anybody's just joined the stream, you're like, what the hell is this? This game is called Songbringer. It's a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. So I just entered a world code uh, from the stream called, and we're playing the world Alpha. So it's, it's six letters, and it generates your whole world. And I'm playing in Italian right now, now even though the game's in... English and German as well so far. Um, so yeah, it's normally in English if you're an English speaker. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Oh wow, look at that! 
Got right to level two. Wow, that was lucky. Okay, so anyways, I want to play level one now. Nice, right on. Thanks, Boon Coming All. Greets, greets. Hello. Yeah, it probably is Jonah 19. Yep. You're very observant. Yeah, because level two is on that side, and I did, did that one algorithm so that it puts, it uh, alternates. Yeah. Which kind of, I don't know, is that a good thing or not? It's probably not a good thing because it's made things more predictable. What's up, Javon? store what's it got here man I don't have any money but I could buy a lightning what's up Mirko hey oh that guy doesn't have a shadow oh, oh, oh good thing I'm not playing in permadeath mode Killed by a blob. Well, that's one easy way to get back home. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. What's up, Hazmus? What's up? 1893? I'm just gonna call you 1893. All right, cool. So we got the. This is a compass and/or bio detector item. I'm gonna launch that thing. Find level one. Sweet. Where is it? Oh, it's right up there. Cool. Are you? Am I from America? Because there's sunlight. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're probably in. You're probably. Well, I'm guessing you're somewhere else in the world besides the daylight side right now. Like Europe or something. Yeah, I'm in America right now. I'm in Oakland. I'm an Oakland-based developer from the you know San Francisco Bay Area. Um, and yeah, that's it. I stream daily. It's mostly development. Sun, what's that? Can I eat it? Yeah, you can eat it. You know what this game needs? ASCII graphics. <laughs> that would be pretty fun. I love ASCII art. I love it. Am I going the right way? Oh, I totally messed up. It's back this way. Better performance as DayZ? Huh? Up, uh, it's right there. I can, I can feel it. Dude, these guys are hard. These jumpy guys are really, really. They'll kill you. They'll kill you fast. I'm looking for health in the grass. <laughs> You're a vampire. This is a bad idea. Shouldn't be fighting these guys when I'm almost dead. Yes. Health.
Give me some help. What's up, Unreal? And we found the level. There it is. Twenty three gold, twenty three diamonds so far. This is a really interesting room. There's nothing in it except for these enemies. Thanks, JFK. How's the weather? We are, we have so much, we have so little rain. You're prowling. Oh, you're waiting on the parts for your computer? Cool, man. You got a dope setup about to build. <clears throat> Shedda Rosa! Upper La Porta Rose! I don't know what that means. Expanding combat move set with weapons. Maybe a stamina bar for a charge attack. Oh. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, as long as it's not like the, the Twilight Princess stamina bar. That was kind of weak sauce. But yeah, if it's done right, that could be a really, really um, fun thing to add. One thing I'm, I really am looking forward to adding is um, the ability to tuck and roll. Like you're gonna, you can do like a dodge roll. That'll kind of expand your combat set a little bit, and I'm sure a lot adding a lot of items will help too. But I get your point, right? Something in addition to the current like just default sword attack would be pretty nice. Big swing, right? Yeah, yeah. How do you proceed to translate? You give us a good old script. Oh, Arcor, um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, let me answer that after this, after the stream. But yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a file. And yeah, it's just, I thought I sent it to you, but maybe I didn't. It's pretty short. There's only like 50 lines or whatever right now. And then when the game is actually said and done, it'll only be like 300 to 500 lines total. Where am I? I got two keys. You get money for playing that game? No, I don't. I don't. This is a game I'm creating. <clears throat> Thanks, Mirko A.
Shadula Bra. Drony Scanner. Questy Drony Scan Sionano La Area. Producendo Una Mapa Digitale. It's cool. Now I have a map. Clone device. Azenris, sweet idea. Oh my god, hold on, I gotta I actually have to write that idea down. That's so good. Yeah, that's super sweet. Um and mini boss doesn't have shadow. All right. Oh, you guys almost had a BC Warriors stretch going, dang. Uh, Unreal, yeah, the, the game already has characters for Slo for Slovak and French, German, Italian. It has all those characters already, but there's already somebody translating it into Slovak. But thank you, man. Yeah, it's UTF-8, exactly. So all the, all the translation files are UTF-8, so you just save your file um, like, like a normal UTF-8. What the heck? Look at this map. Oh, 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 so the blue areas. Oh, interesting, interesting. Uh, a one-time clone item? The item itself molds into the target item? Oh, so you can just get two of anything? Basically. Well, that was lucky. Bye, Jamon. Oh, I need a bot. I need a somebody to ban this bot. Yeah, gear and skills. I don't know. Did that? I guess that didn't get translated. Let me check. Yeah, here in the in the actual Italian file, it's still just gear and skills. So that's not my fault. Yay! Not my fault. All right. Good night, eighteen ninety three. Good knock. Interesting, Unreal. Okay, let me let me write that down too. You haven't found a good translation. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Thanks, Peter. You clone a diamond. <laughs> you have two diamonds. Oh, that is pretty long. Hmm. Maybe I should make the system a little bit smarter for that. I don't know. If there's a way like I, I can, I guess I could do two lines or a smaller font maybe? Automatic smaller font? 
if the line is really long. Man, I'm getting pretty good at playing this game. You know what? I'm really interested in when you guys play the game. Like, I know a lot of you are going to be getting the game pretty soon for this alpha version tomorrow. When you guys play it, I'm really interested in how the controls feel to you guys, you know? Is there something I could do to make the controls more responsive or make the game feel more fun in any way? Please let me know those kind of thoughts. Any kind of comments, suggestions you have. I'm open to any of that, but especially interested in that, in the, in the input, the controls. Because, I don't know, it feels pretty good to me right now. Um, and, and so far, I'm, I'm happy with it. But if, there, if you do have any thoughts, I'm really, really open to that. So... Because I think that can make or break a game, you know? And it can also make a good game great, or a great game even greater. What's up, Toby Peters? Ability to scroll, scroll, throw items, through items. Yeah, Toby Peters, yeah. You know what, um, that's so funny you mentioned that, because I was watching this video online, um, uh, about the top, it was the top 10 stupidest shit in Zelda. And one of them was that you couldn't scroll through items. You know, you have all these buttons on your controller, but you can't use them to quickly change items. Or at least have, say, three or four items equipped instead of just one. And so far in this game, I've, I've, whoops. I haven't actually added, a uh, um, you know, the ability to have more than one item, because I've always wanted to stick with just having two buttons, but I'm open to that now. Now that I've now that I've seen the, the somebody's top ten stupid and shit list, that Zelda doesn't have more than one item on Super NES and, and above, that, you know, why not? So I'm open to that. Let me um let me think about that. It's already it's already been in my mind lately. Maybe I should add more than one button. So good thought, Toby Peters. What's up, Lime Studios? You like the 360 controller feel? Good. Right on, PETA. Yeah, as long as the gameplay stays really simple, right. Yeah, I wouldn't change I wouldn't want to change the gameplay at all. It's it's feeling pretty good. Unless unless there's like I said, some specific simple stuff I can do to make the input feel better or something. Just running into enemies left and right here. Oh, yeah. So, PETA, maybe I should add a smaller font. And it would be automatic. So, like, it would detect... It would detect that it's, um... It's running on a... Like, a, a single line of dialogue is going to be too big for the screen. And it would just automatically... Um, use a smaller font. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. I missed the room I was supposed to go in. But I'm, dude, I'm getting so many diamonds. I got 120 diamonds already. Yeah, French is verbose too. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a necessity for, you know, some languages, like... You want to express something, and it's it gets to be pretty long for um, for things that are shorter in English or whatever. Yeah, the development's going great, man. Totally great. Um, as you can see, it's the game's made a lot of progress, in the, especially in the last couple months. I don't know what it is, but sometimes you get to the, these points in when you're developing a game where it's like, um, you hit a plateau for a while, things look about the same, and then all of a sudden you hit this one breakthrough moment, and this has kind of happened with Songbringer recently, is this, this kind of breakthrough moment visually, right? The visual style of the game has gotten a little bit better, so it kind of really has propelled the game forward. Contenitore di bombe. Il numero massimo di bombe cubo è aumentato di four. Quattro. Is it quattro? 
Hmm, what might be cool is having a chance upon scanning your body to have a chance to get a small health... Small health... Drop. Will make the player want to fight as it's worth in a long run to recover health if you're doing it right. I mean, sure, monsters might drop health pots, but it makes our buddies seem more interactive. Wait, what? I don't, I don't get that. Chance upon... Quattro! Nice! A chance upon scanning a body to have a chance to get a small health drop. But isn't that what a health... Isn't that what's already there? I mean, there's already the, the little um health items to come out. Is that what you meant? Or something else? Dutch translation? Yeah, sure. That'd be awesome. Um, my email is nat at wizardfoo.com. That's N-A-T at W-I-Z-A-R-D-F-U dot com. No dashes or anything. And uh, yeah, just email me, get in touch, and a Dutch translation would be sweet. And as a way of saying thank you, I would give you the alpha version and also put your name in gold on the main menu. All right, JFK, good night, man. What's up, Magwick Dev? Oh, these guys, these need to be colored. All right, looks like we're ready to fight this boss. Ready to do this? Not enough being dropped? You mean there's not enough health being dropped? j -List, what's up, man? Yeah, um, Arcor is already doing the French uh, translation. Robert, oh, dude, yeah, this is Robert right here. That's right, yesterday's live stream, we were naming all of the statues. So this must be Robert. It might be John. Is that John? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, um... You thought the monsters simply just drop health pots. No, they, they never do that, no. Monsters never drop anything in this game. Your little buddy has to go scan every corpse for everything, and sometimes, yes, they do uh, reveal a health pot. So I think it's already working the way you're you're saying there. It's Babert. <laughs> nice, right on. Oh, we got the blob boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, you see that? Four hits. Whoa, this guy's fast and furious. He's like Fast and Furious 7. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Whoops. It's a pudding? <laughs> Uh. Oh yeah, oh, two smaller ones came out. And then four smaller ones. I need some health. Yeah, this guy feels about right. He's, um, he's sort of difficult, but not too difficult. As, you know, the level one boss should be. It is kind of, yeah, it's kind of inspired by Metroid. Is there a frame that the Blob Boss becomes a perfect circle? I don't know if there is, but he, he probably should, right? Demoni... Demoniaco. Demoniaco. Il coraggio tiene a bada la paura. What do we get here? Oh, the blink! Yes, the blink! Globo Lampe Giante. Yay, we can blink now! Woo! Alright, dude, there's level one. 
So, okay, so how fast can I speed run the whole game? I don't know. This would probably take... How long did that take? 15 or 20 minutes? Perfetto! Bravo! Alright, Lime Studios, see you, man. Yeah, there's no visual to the normal blink yet. Uh, I haven't done that. I haven't done anything but the fire blink yet. So we got... Oh, that took 35 minutes. Wow. But I was kind of like just chatting and stuff. I guess I could do it way faster. Right? Achievement for killing the boss? <laughs> A large spoon? Yeah, the shadows are flashing. It happens, um, especially when I switch out of the game, but also when I hit enemies or something like that. Yeah, so Azarus, thanks, man. Sweet. Biter Thief? Cheers, man. Oh, wait. Let's check that store, because I have so much money. 140. Whoa. 140 and 4 life now. Yes. Oh, I don't need the map. But I'm buying it anyway. Buy the map! Drony Scanner! Bam! What up, Gladiar? What's up? You're busy with data structures? How's it going, man? I don't have any cactuses yet. That's kind of weird. Alright, let's use this map. I want to see some of the map. Buy the lightning? I know, yeah. I should buy the lightning. Where was that? Where was the lightning? Oh, you're totally right. I should have bought the lightning because then I could build the lightning sword. Oh, but I got to get the ghost sword first. Dude, these guys are tough. Not worth messing with. Yeah, so in this case, right, this is a pretty good example that Toby Peters brought up is being able to um, use two different items. So if I had two different items, I could easily put one to my top hat, right? And then one to the blink, because this is these are both very, or like another one to the bomb, you know? I got so many cool items here. It kind of sucks that I have to go and go back to here every time if I'm gonna have maybe two or three favorite items I use all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to, <laughs> nice to uh, play the game a little bit. What's up, Felix Dedge? All right, so I'm gonna play another level on this game. So let's see what we can what we can accomplish. Level two. Oh, give me a break! Why don't you put a banner for gold mine, bro? Hey, are, is this a real human? Are you real, brushes, wallabies? If you're a bot, it's this is probably a bot, right? Self-promotional bot. Oh, okay, so the top hat, see the top hat is such a nice item. But the blink is also really nice. Bot. Bot, band. I almost offed him. <laughs> Thanks, Sarkor Hurricane. All right, I'm playing level two here. This this level does not have the art finished. This is um the doors don't look right. There shouldn't be those fire things up there. So you can see some of the hidden chests. So, but anyways, keep that in mind as I'm playing this. Oh, fiber! I got 105 now. Maybe I can get the ghost sword after this and craft the lightning sword. That would be sweet. So ever since TwitchCon, there's been... How many bots a day? Like three or four bots per day have come into this stream. Crazy, man. Crazy. 
But I guess if we keep banning them. Shade of blue. Upper La Porte Blue. I got the Upper La Porte Boo. Blue. Ooh, it's so dark you can't even see these guys. That's kind of cool. Uh, did I notice the bug with the hat? What bug? Hat bug there? What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I guess that you could consider that a bug, I, you know, right? I could throw my hat, go to a different room, and it, technically it has returned, but it just hasn't put it back on my head. So, yeah, um, I, I plan to have that fixed, and I already got it on the list, so thanks, guys. Maybe it's just for style. <laughs> it goes in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, finally we got cactuses. Sembra delizioso. You like seeing the hair? All right. All right, we got more bombs. A contentitore, de bomb, de bombe. I'm kind of wondering what it's what it's like to play the really high levels, like levels eight, nine. I don't play those as much. The enemies should be really difficult up there. Yes, they should be, and I'm not sure if they are yet. So I just mean should be as in one day they will be. They're supposed to have more health. And um, that should make them a lot more difficult to fight because they're, you know, they can come at you more. And they're more intelligent. So the intelligence factor of enemies helps them to uh, just be way more, way more difficult to fight. They'll like, they'll stay on you more. They'll, um, you know, are the spiders only on high level? Yeah, it's a good question. I haven't, ex I haven't encountered any spiders yet. They might be. Yeah, I might have actually put them. Whoa, that's super, that's super crazy cool seeing those. This totally dark room without even being able to see these guys. This is a confusing level. Where are we? What is this? I don't have the yellow key. Can't get through there, there. Oh, maybe it's here. Aha. Yeah, and so another thing about, about this game is it's going to have a lot more enemies. So, you know, it won't be so repetitive. Right now it's kind of repetitive in the sense that you're kind of encountering the same enemies. But that's because there's not enough enemies being created yet. So the beta version will have a lot more enemies and will be a lot more interesting But this is just the alpha version. Yeah, yellow card.
I'm kind of hoping to fight some spiders. All right, we found the boss. What's up, Marza? What's this? Oh, interesting. There is a is an empty tile right there. Here too. Okay, I gotta fix that. Let me let me. I gotta write this down. Ideas. This is kind of important. But not really. Yeah, Italian version. I've been trying to say him too. Coraggio. What's up, M. Edding? Thank you, man. It's getting better every day. I know where the boss is, but I'll use this anyways. Coradajo. What's up, M. Edding? Uh, it's just me, man. Yep, I make the art, I do the programming, and I make the music. Solo project. It's all on YouTube too. So every day of development's been um, it's been put, been shared, man. I share this with the community, so people can go back and kind of like be, you know, take a look at every phase of the development all the way for back from the very beginning, where you know it was just a nothing but a blank screen and a single character to today. <clears throat> Yeah, Jonah 19. So every one of the levels, uh, it changes which colors are, go first. So the red doors might be on this level, but they would be one of the last doors you get the key for. Oh, we do have spiders. Check it out, it's a double spider. Oh my god. Oh, that's a bug too. So as soon as I killed a couple of these spiders, it counts the entire room as being cleared. And it opened up the switch. So that's a bug. I gotta I gotta write that down. You get so many items from the spiders, it's like this is great. It's like item paradise. This little guy's tough. Yay, spiders! Okay, let me write that down. This is a pretty important. Uh, what level is this? This is 402. Okay. You should have the map same as the one in your inventory? What do you mean? You mean the little the little map the same as the big map? It is. Or is that something or is it something else you're talking about? What about the reflections on the ground? What what about them? 
<laughs> yeah, why not? He does take a minute. So, okay, looks like we need to go up, maybe. What's up, Ferk? What up, man? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. You're supposed to see your reflection on this level. But I, I do intend to make the art look better so that it's more like, uh, more, it looks like a shinier surface. So it needs to have less texture, more just smooth, shiny. Yeah. It's too shiny for its current textured look, but that's only because I haven't finished the art for this level. This is unfinished, but I don't have time to finish it and I don't have time to take it out. So I have to leave this in for the alpha version, just kind of how it is. So it's kind of interesting fighting this sort of darker level anyways. The transition between the items and whatnot could be less flow breaking ish. What do you mean? I, I'm totally listening because this, this sounds like a really good thought. I'm just trying to follow you what you're saying. So, um, the f flow breaking? What do you mean flow breaking? Get a mid-right release? Uh, tonight, you mean? I guess I could probably put it up on Steam tonight, yeah. So, yeah, if anybody, if, yeah, if anybody is super stoked to play the game, check it out later on tonight. Um, I'll, I might have emailed out codes by then and then put it up on Steam. Uh, but then, yeah, and I could just all finish up the marketing tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe. But for sure, it'll be out tomorrow. Yes, yeah, look like at that. 194? I could definitely buy something cool. Well, that, that's kind of crazy. So the very last room of this whole dungeon was, had the map. So by the time you get through all of this dungeon, you've already found everything. Oh, man. Oh, uh, well, okay, so yeah, I need to write that down too, because the, um, the map should never be... Map should never be in the very last room. It's the background? Uh, MNing, yeah, the dungeons and the overworld are all procedural. So you, when you create a game, you enter six letters. No, no worries, man. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to share and stuff. So feel free to ask whatever, man. Anything. Um, but yeah, when you create a game, you enter six letters. And those six letters are used to generate the entire world. That's That counts as the overworld, the dungeons all the secrets, everything. Um, and that's down to the tile-based tile level. So basically, you know, like some games like Binding of Isaac, for example, creates um, the designer of the game. Uh, you know, he goes and he creates a bunch of levels and then they just randomly arranges them. This is not like that. This actually procedurally generates every single room down to the tiles. And so algorithms can be used and it can be more flexible and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's true. It's not revealing the last boss room. Oh, Jayless, yeah, this like I said, this art is not finished for this level, so Oh uh, what? Same boss? Well, I mean there's only two bosses right now, so what what do you expect? We need a weapon. Let's use bombs. Dude, this guy's too fast to use bombs with. I 
I'm a living fact. Way better than a not living fact. I know, dude, I expect the drop boss too. He must be in levels 3 through 9, all of them. Whoa, that was a good hit. Yeah. If you get the, the top ad just right. Oh, boom. <laughs> I know, right? He was definitely way easier this time. I don't know why. Probably because I have more life. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh yeah, we always get this. Tente Demoniaco! Il cor Coraggio! Tiene a bada la paura! I'm trying to say everything in Italian just because I don't know how. Okay, so when you're playing the transition between inventory, view, and the player in environment, if you can put the inventory on top of the main view instead of transitioning downward, use some kind of faster, smoother transition that would t wouldn't take as much time and make the player feel like he's still in the game. Oh. Oh, glad you are. Yeah, so um, I think there's a better there's a better idea than that. That's a good idea, right? To make it either faster or on top of the screen or something like that. But the better idea is to be able to have more items, more item buttons. So right now all you've got is a B button where you can use your whatever your B is selected to and your A button, which is your sword. Um, but what if you had a C button and a D button? Then you could, trans then you could put all your favorite items into... Um, really accessible stuff and it'd be way better than having to access any inventory at all. You would could put most of your favorite items into those three slots. So yeah. Yes, the spot of Phantasma <laughs> better than well. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm buying the lightning. Yeah, 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 dude, let's get the items the lightning sword. Right now. Lightning sword. Okay, I gotta remember where that... Where was that? Does anybody remember where that, that store was? Grazie di aver giocato alla versione alpha. Oh no. Spelling error. Wasn't me. It wasn't my fault. I promise. <laughs> It's to the right, is it? Was it right at the beginning? Can you access the full map of the dungeon without having to go to the inventory? Oh. No, there is no way to... Um, bring up the whole map except for going to the inventory so it's a good point wait that's the that's where we get the sword yeah hopefully this is it nope that wasn't it what this is weird what's this Huh. That was a bug. Okay, so that one wasn't it, but where it was Oh yes, I love having the freaking ghost sword. But let's make the lightning sword. Yeah, like an overlaid map. I guess I could add another button for that. Maybe I could add a button for just bring up your map. Was the price hidden? Now it's gone. Damn. <laughs> okay, was the was the was this to the left or to the right? Let's try the right. Uh 
uh, I'm just starting to learn. I've only been learning for 20 years now, 30 years. That's a good point, right? Should there be some kind of indicator for the shops? That would be nice. I wouldn't have to remember. Oh, I bet you we can blink over that. Yes. Yeah, oh, you can blink over the trees. No, I know I was talking about, I was talking from your perspective. You already have spent 30 years knowing Italian. Okay, I think it was to the left. Yeah, it must have been to the left. That store was over there. Somewheres. Doop 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 doop. See? I think it was here. Somewhere on this path. Once you visit yeah, right? No, this can't be. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it's right here at the very last room I go to. Uh, all right, Marza, good night, man. Yeah, lightning. Kubo di Fulmine. Fulmine elementale. Contenuto in un pratico cubo. Cubo? Is it cubo or cubo? Oh, we did beat the record. We did, Marza. Yeah, okay, so now I can go warp back this ship and stuff after I get these guys killed. Yeah, oh, kill him. Killing him. We did, we did. Okay, I'll prove it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we're going to prove it for real, huh? We're just going to do it. Peter! <laughs> That's kind of funny, the hat's just sitting there. Oh, 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 what? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> All right, here we're gonna get we're gonna get the lightnings or the <laughs> look at the player got stuck. I gotta I gotta note that. That's funny. No no no, getting rid of nobody. <laughs> Under the bird statues? No! Oh. <laughs> no hate. No hating. Yeah, cool. We're getting the lightning sword. Crafted my little crafty friend. Rage quitting! Why is this rage quitting? 
It's all good. It's all good. We we have to give everyone whoever gets whoever breaks it always gets the biggest shit. Like doesn't matter who it is. Spada full me not fulminante. That's what it said before, right? Spada fulminante. <laughs> Grapple. Yeah, lightning sword. Let's go use it. A little Tie Fighter back there. Yes, Lightning Sword. We need to hit something. Oh, check this out. What level is this? Pew, pew, pew. Uh, PMC, I got I got the comments. I'm I'm in a small window. I got open broadcaster set up today, so it's only recording the window. So I can see more of my screen than you guys can right now. So yeah, I got it. So you guys get full screen access to the to the game, and I'm just on uh, it's tinier for me. Lightning sword, so awesome! Yeah. This is pretty good. I'm liking this. This game is really shaping up. It's getting to be better and better. It's getting a lot. It's a lot more fun to play than the last alpha was, and I'm sure the beta version in three months is going to be even better. Hey, thank you, Felipe. It does strike even underground. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Thor can make it thunder thunderstrike wherever. So why not? You know. Why not if you have the lightning sword? Hey, free key! Didn't have to fight anybody for that one. Yeah. Oh, dude, the blink and the lightning sword is pretty cool. Okay, cool. Just checking if I can, like, blink over doors or anything. Oh, you know what would really help these levels is if you could fall off, too. That's already on the list, but being able to fall off these edges would be really cool. Fulmini, not Fulminate. Alright, we got some spelling errors and stuff. Grammar and spelling. Oh. You know what also would be cool is being able to have um, items that refill all your health. Something like the something like the fairies in Zelda. Fulminare. Tutti quanti. What's up, Woogie? High five, man. High five. High five, all y'alls. Time for a refreshing break. Let's eat some cactuses. P 
Pure Freeman. Nice work, man. Nice PC Warrior double up right there. Oh, these guys are definitely harder on this third, sixth level. What level is this? I think this is level six. Yeah, it's really nice to see the foes getting more, getting smarter as these, as these levels progress. In fact, I almost want to make them all Demon's Denture refills all. <laughs> the Demon's Denture, that's so funny. Uh, demons and beans on my plate for dinner. Oh. Uh, okay, cool, Jalus. Going back to the top hat. It's my go-to weapon. Oh, man. I want to fight some more spiders. They're such good for items. There should be more spider rooms. Apre la portagiale! Should I switch to German? I should switch to German soon. It's the only languages we have, except for English. Oh, look at that! That was lightning chain! Wow, lightning works really good on the bats. Oh, that's... that's... come on. Come on! Yeah. Oh, I can't run away fast enough. J List, uh, there's already somebody translating into Japanese too, man. Dang, sorry, but yeah, keep, dude. Is there some other language? I mean, Chinese would be awesome. Uh, nobody's translating into Chinese yet. Um, Korean. What's up, DM John? I know, right? It sounds like you know a lot of languages. What else? There's some, there's got to be some other European languages too that haven't been covered. German's been covered. Polish has been covered. Slovak, Arabic, Hebrew, Korean. Yeah. Yep, I need Korean. I don't have Korean. Same thing with uh, Chinese. Those are a little more difficult though, because you because uh, we have to create a font for that too. So, Ebonics or sarcasm? Nice. Either one of those would be great. Eight. Wow, Jalis, that's a lot. It's a lot of languages. Ooh, purple doors. I've never seen those before. Oh my god, the ghost sword is so rad. I love having ghost swords. That and the blink. Oh my gosh, items in general are just really, really cool to find in this game. Pig Latin. You, you could work for Daenerys. Your your Facebook is in pirate English. Can you do that, really? Wait, was I seeing that right? That guy couldn't get through anything in this. Yeah, these are both purple. All right, so good thoughts already today on today's stream. Like, I love the idea of having just being able to use more of your buttons. Like a button that would sh show like a map. 
<laughs> and it's super annoying. <laughs> oh my god, I can't I didn't I did not know that you could turn your Facebook into pirate English. That's pretty hilarious. Oh suck it. Oh damn it. I can't get away. This is a bad item to use. Uh, you did? You changed it right back? Purple! Shit of Yola! Yeah, these guys look cool, and they're getting way more interesting to fight on these harder levels because their intelligence goes up. So I'm kind of thinking that enemies should have like a minimum intelligence, maybe. At the lowest levels, like in level 1 or whatever, they'll have some kind of, you know, like, minimum intelligence. Yeah, dungeon maps, door colors, yes. I think that's already on my list. It was one of those things where I was like, this should be there. Same thing with having the overworld show you um, colors for what, like, like green would be your forest. You know, mountains are a different color. Ah. Boom! What level is this? I'm not sure. I mean, I could cheat and find out. This is level 6. Swedish, huh? Jonah 19, you remembered what level it was? Steel trap. Look, the red doors, they came back. Oh, that's a cool idea, DM John. Oh, I gotta write that down. That's awesome. Dr avoid weapon that draws enemies towards you. So cool. Definitely would add to the scary factor, and there should be a lot more scary thing elements in here. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, they're ganging up on me. Famous last words. <laughs> Sword is awesome. All right, this is this has definitely been a bug, where you you get the compass and the map so late in the level. Yeah, good input sound, right? Yeah, yeah. I get you on the void. That's definitely a sweet sounding item. Yeah, I really like the suggestion of having multiple items and just being able to do more with your buttons. You know, at first I was like, uh, I want it to be, feel like a Nintendo, an, an old school NES controller. But now that, now that I play it, it would be super sweet if you had a C button and a D button and maybe your, um, your trigger, like your L and your R buttons did stuff too, like bringing up the map, bringing up a map overlay. Oh, this is kind of a backtrack style dungeon. Oh, more traps would be nice too, right? Like, so if this level had um, some enemies that never died. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> you see that punch? Oh! It looks funky when all the enemies spawn on the grid aligned. Interesting. Good thought. I could make that easy. 
I could change that up. Actually, let me look, really write that down before I while I'm thinking about that. Yeah. So what's your sword? Uh, hold on. So uh, enemies spawn a little off the grid. Ooh, ooh, I'm so interested in seeing which one's everybody's favorite. Yeah, most people do use Xbox controllers. That's why I've definitely I bought one and I made sure that the game works on it. So I prefer the the Super Nintendo controller style myself. But um, yeah. So and I also made sure that the Xbox controller works with not only the vector input but the uh, the POV input, the little tiny D pad that comes with the with it. Does it? Yeah! Suck it! Eat it! Drop this. Once again, we're getting the map and the compass as like the last items in this dungeon. That's kind of a kind of a bug. You know what? I'm actually pretty um, stoked about is that the game hasn't crashed or run into any show stopping bugs at all during this hour-long gameplay already that's pretty awesome I mean I can I'll take all these visual bugs and glitches and tiny little things to fix all day as long as the game just freaking works oh yeah yeah rumble yes there will be rumble there's not yet but uh, that's um, that's definitely planned Oh, did I use this? Yeah, once again, the map was the very, very last room. So I've already uncovered the entire map before I got it. Ooh, a blood sword? Dang, John, you got some rad ideas here. Let me write this one down too. Beheading sword. What's up, Iacogan? Blood sword gets stronger, but never a range weapon. Interesting. I like this idea. This could be something really cool. Actual liquid. He's actually made of liquid. Now I'm liking it even more. Just squirts on everything. Squirt, squirt. What is the world seed name? Oh, <laughs> very good question. It's actually Alpha I. Alpha yeah, you weren't here, man. We couldn't have got, we couldn't have, we could have had some way more interesting world seed suggestions. But this one's pretty cool. Alpha I actually turned out to be a really interesting level. The, um, I ran right into level two, and then like level one wasn't very hard to find, and it had this awesome um, lightning lightning cube inside one of the stores, so I, I was able to buy it, and now I got the lightning sword. 
Yeah, so basically because you weren't here, we're not playing Fart 2. <laughs> What's up, Jayliss? See you, man. I mean, sorry, see ya. So if you miss with the blood weapons, you lose health in Nuclear Throne? I haven't played that yet. Oh, here we go. Finally, the Switch. This is a difficult one to find. I'm really liking the, these higher levels. These higher levels get way more interesting to fight stuff, find things. The dungeons get just way awesomer. Yeah. We got 150 again too. Might be able to buy something cool. Oh, that's interesting, John 19. I like that. So the more enemies you kill, it gets stronger, but if you die, it loses all its strength. <laughs> Let's ask Robert. What does he think? What do you think, Robert? Have you been talking to John today? How's Rupert doing? Schubert's not making too much noise. Here we go. This better be the drop boss. Or you can substitute your own max life to deal more damage. Whoa! Let me write these ideas down. These are great. Um... Is that Pubert or Pubert? <laughs> oh my god, it's the same boss! Three times in a row! Right, he better be harder to fight this time. It's like puberty. Nice! Pubert! He you, Bert. Oh no! Oh, you see that? How many hits was that? Four? Whoops. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't in that hard. So the boss, basically, the bosses need to be harder and harder and harder, and they're supposed to be already, but they just—they're not yet. Yeah, look at that! Another Dente Demonac, Demoniaco. Oh, knockback enemy skills or, or reflect or whatever. Yeah, not yet. But that's a good idea. I'll have to make some kind of bot or boss that does that. Alright, so we got the, the boots this time, but the boots aren't implemented yet, so they don't do anything. But we got the Stivali. Looks cool in your inventory. Oh yeah, Stivali. Nice. Ah. 
All right. Well, um, I guess that's a bit. That's about it for today's stream. I mean, I, that's all I really had planned was just to play the game. I got a lot of marketing ahead of me, though. Perhaps the blobby could bounce off walls and he gets knocked back harder at higher levels so he bounces around the room. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Jonah19, really the the thing is, the world... I mean, if you were to play one level, right? So yeah, I guess it would, yeah, it would have to be, it would have to change what bosses wear depending on the order in which you do them. So really, this this whole question um, solves itself if there's enough bosses, right? If there's nine bosses or more to choose from, then you're never going to have them repeat. So it's really only this alpha version where it's going to have this kind of issue. And I'm, I'm actually okay having it stay this way for now. I mean, it would be pretty simple to put it in some code to do that. But I'm just, like I said, I'm kind of over coding. I've been done so much code in the last freaking three weeks or whatever. Not anything creative. So I'm ready to just... Do some marketing, put this version out, and then, you know, make it better in the beta version for how many bosses there are and stuff. The guy you just fought, if you had already fought him once, what if you, when you kill him the second time, he splits into a bunch of smaller slimes? Yeah, he does that already. He's supposed to every time. But he's not for some reason. The boots, yes, that's all they do. They make you look fabulous. Right? It would be funny to see somebody streaming at the hardest boss every single time. For sure. Look how many flies have accumulated around Rock. He should do a, like a fly swatting move. If there's a bunch of flies around him, he just starts swatting them. All right, yeah, so that's it. That's all for today's um, stream. Um, yeah, see you, Eklof. I'm out, too. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just going to get into my marketing mode tonight. Maybe I'll even have the game released tonight. I don't know. We'll see. So, um, once again, uh, if you're just wondering what this is, this game is called Songbringer. Um, it's a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. And, um, yeah, you enter six letters when you, ge you generate your game, and that generates your whole world. Yeah, I are cooking. Yeah, um, yeah, I've done a few streams on this before, where I actually did streams where I do the marketing and stuff. Um, I guess, yeah, maybe I'll do the, maybe I'll do some of that tomorrow. Then maybe I'll at least go over what I did. So yeah, good thought, man. I've, like I said, I've done this before. So if you want to search my YouTube videos for marketing, you'll you'll find some of them. But yeah, I'll definitely share some more tomorrow on what I've done to market since since the day before. So yeah. <laughs> Make shoot the flies with his laser driver. <laughs> Take him a shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to release the alpha tonight or tomorrow. So yeah. This this game I just played right here, this version I'm releasing. So oh, it's already Wednesday for you. Nice. So good night, y'all. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. So cheers. Thanks again for all your great suggestions.